Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm gonna show you how to set up the remote start on your new Subaru using the My Subaru app. So today it's a nice crisp 36 degrees here in Louisville, Kentucky, and it's a perfect day to show you how to get your car warmed up and cozy before you hop in and take off for a drive. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly Subaru videos, so if you enjoy content like that, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Also, if you guys learn something new today and get value out of this video, please be sure to click the like button. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up, but first we're gonna show you how it works in action. So right now I've got the My Subaru app pulled up and we're gonna click this quick start button and it's gonna use Face ID. You guys didn't see this off camera, but my sunglasses were on. So if, if you're using Face ID, you have to have your sunglasses off most likely. But anyways, got the My Subaru app set up. I'm gonna show you guys a screen grab of this so you can see it nice and clear. We're gonna click the quick to start button. It's gonna send that action to the car and then any second now, the Outback should fire up. So there we go. Now the Outback is started. It's warming up to the preset temperatures that have already set in the phone. And if you wanted to shut the car off, there's a stop button, you just click that. Again, use Face ID or a four digit pin. It's gonna send that action to the car and immediately shut the car off. So now we're gonna start the car again. I'm gonna show you guys what happens whenever I walk up to the car. And a question I get all the time is, is the car gonna automatically be locked? Can anybody get in the car? Can somebody drive off in my car? And I'm gonna show you how that works now. So I'm actually going to hand this key fob to Chelsea, my fiance, who is my assistant today on the camera. You wanna say hi? <laughs> so Chelsea's got the keyless access key fob. You can follow me over here and stay right there. If I try to get into the car, it is automatically locked. So you have to have this key fob to get into the car. You don't have to press any buttons, but with the proximity sensor and the connectivity with this key fob, you can get into the car now automatically. So as soon as you get into your car, and you try to take off, you'll notice that you can't get out of park. So you can't get into gear until you put your foot on the brake and press the push to start button over here. So you have to hit the push to start button right here and then it'll say ready to drive. Now you can get the car out of park and into gear. So that's how it works, getting into the car upon entry whenever you have it started up with the remote start function. So if you ever wanna to check to see if your car is locked or unlocked or you wanna unlock it for somebody but they don't have the key fob, you can do it remotely through the app. You just click on the lock or unlock function. Here's the lock function right now, sending it to the car. You hear it beep, it's locking. If you wanna unlock it, you can either unlock all the doors or just the driver's door. Send it to the car, you'll hear it unlock. And there you go, that's how the lock and unlock function works. So I've been told that you can actually use this remote start function from anywhere as long as you have cell phone and satellite service. So we're actually gonna test it out. We're gonna hop in this Subaru Legacy. We're gonna drive about a mile down the road. We're gonna send the action to this Outback behind us and see if it works. Okay, so we're just a little bit over a mile away from the dealership. I'm gonna use the My Subaru app now to send the start to the car. So it says it's sending it. Let's see if it works. All right, so it says it's confirmed. It was started at 11.01 a.m. Let's drive back to the dealership and see if it's actually running. All right, guys, so we're back at the dealership. The Outback is running, I can tell, because of the exhaust fumes, and you can kind of hear it. But anyways, so it works over slightly over a mile away. I'm sure it works much further than that, but yeah, so now we know it, it works from farther away. You don't just have to be inside your house or inside your office. You can be really far away. So now we're going to sit in the nice cozy car outside of the cold. I'm going to talk more details about what this is available on, what cars it's available on, and pricing and how to set it up. So first to determine whether or not your Subaru may be eligible for this feature is to look at your key fob. If your key fob has this keyless entry style key fob, it has the push button start. So it has to have the push button start to be able to use the My Subaru app to remotely start your car. If your Subaru has the 
older uh, key switch and some of your base models are still going to have this style key switch so they're not eligible for it you can still get remote start but you have to use this separate key fob and for the my super app there's no hardware setup you just contact your retailer a salesperson there can actually set this up for you using your vin number all remotely so you don't even have to go into the dealership to set this up you just pay for that over the phone now with this style key fob it does require hardware setup. They have to take apart the dash, the center console here, and it's, a, it's actually a pretty labor intensive job for what it is, and so it's very expensive. The key fob is a few hundred dollars, and then you've got another few hundred dollars for labor, so it ends up being much more expensive to have this style key fob, and all it does is start and stop your car. It doesn't do any of the other features that your My Super app offers, like setting your climate control or locating your car, locking and unlocking your doors. So as I was editing this video, I realized that I left out a few key details and wanted to explain a few things a little bit better. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is the heated seat controls using the My Subaru app. The heated seats can be controlled on the front heated seats for the Outback and the Legacy and also the Subaru Ascent. If you have the Forester, the Crosstrek or the Impreza, it has a rocker switch style heated seat control in the center console and those are not eligible to be controlled through the app. Another question you guys may have is how much does the remote start feature in the My Super app cost? And this is something that has always been a subscription. I know recently Toyota just uh, unveiled their, their remote start feature as well and they're gonna have a subscription and it used to be free. Subarus, as far as I know, has always had a subscription and it's always cost something, but it's a very minimal cost. So the cost for the My Super app whenever you get the whenever you get a new car is a promotional offer. You can choose anywhere from a three year and a seven year package. I'll show you what the pricing structure is on the screen here, but starting out a minimum, it's $75 for the first three years. So effectively $25 a year, very low cost. And the great news is if you get this and you decide, hey, you know what, it's cool and all, but I don't really like it or it just doesn't work for you, you can actually cancel it at any time and get a prorated refund. So whatever remainder, if you cancel it at the end of one year, you'll get a refund for the remaining two years that you didn't use it if you got a three-year subscription. But you can actually go on up to a seven-year subscription. So if you plan to own your car for longer and you think that you might utilize this feature, then you can do seven years for $375, which should shake out to be somewhere around 50 something dollars a year. You have up to 180 days from the day that you purchase your new Subaru to add the remote start function to the My Subaru app under the promotional pricing. If you add it after that 180 days, it is more, and you can buy packages with monthly subscriptions, annual, once every two years or three year packages. And here is how the pricing is laid out. As you can see, the most cost effective at the bottom is the three year package if you buy it in a bundle and it's $300 total, so $100 a year. So the price does go up considerably outside of that promotional offer, but you do have that option if you don't get it under the 180 day promo period. If you are buying a used Subaru, the best thing to do to determine the cost for the My Subaru app remote start is to contact your local retailer, get in contact with one of the Subaru sales specialists there. They can type in your VIN number into the enrollment option for the My Subaru app and it'll tell them how much it will cost. Speaking of used Subarus, let's talk about what cars this is available on. So not all Subarus are eligible for the My Subaru app with remote start function. I'll show you guys a screenshot of which models and years this is available on. There are two Starlink systems. There's the next generation, which is highlighted here in blue. That's the newest model and the original generation highlighted here in green. Those are on some of the older vehicles. My basic understanding on this is that any of them that are highlighted blue, those are pretty much ready and set up to go where you can just contact your salesperson with your VIN number. They can set up your Starlink on the spot remotely. If your model or year is highlighted in green here with the original generation, it may require some sort of software update within your telematics, which does require you to go to the retailer and service center to have that update completed. In the video here today, we're using a 2020 Outback. It's something I was able to easily set up within just a matter of five, 10 minutes. 
I did test it out on one of the 2018 Outbacks we have, and it gave me the error message saying that I needed to take it to a retailer to get the update done on the telematics first. I don't have any personal experience setting this up on the 2018 and older models, so if you do have an older Subaru that's 2018 and older, feel free to leave some insight down in the comment section below for anybody who has those years. This is also something that can be checked whenever you contact your local retailer for pricing. At the same time, they can check to see if your car is eligible for the remote start functions. So for initial setup, it's very easy. You go to the App Store or if you're on Android, go to the Google Play Store and you download the My Subaru app. So there's a Starlink app and there's a My Subaru app. You wanna download the My Subaru app, then contact your retailer or if you're at the dealership, have your sales associate go into enroll your VIN number. You'll be able to set it up, you pay for it. It's a one-time payment of a debit or credit card, or you can even roll it into your loan if you like to, but most people just do a debit or credit card. You pay for it and then you get a temporary password sent to your email. You would go to your uh, MySuper app with that temporary password, log in. It'll prompt you to set up your new password, set an emergency contact, and then you'll have access to the app immediately where you can use it on your new Subaru. So now I'm gonna show you how the app works and how the user interface works on the My Subaru app. So when you first start up the car, whenever you first get the app downloaded and set up, whenever you click the remote start option, it's going to prompt you to set up your presets. So your temperature controls for the Outback and Legacy, it's gonna allow you to select whether or not you want the front heated seats on and things like that. Right now, mine's already set up, so I'm gonna show you guys within the app how to go in and adjust the climate presets. So the first one that says auto, if we click into that, you can see where you can adjust the startup time for the engine. So I do no delay, but maybe you're making coffee, making breakfast in the morning, and you don't want it to start up right now, but maybe here in a few minutes, you can choose anywhere from one to 10 minutes. And then we go into next, it's gonna have you put in your pin so you can edit your presets down in the bottom right. You just click on edit presets and click on auto edit preset and you can adjust the temperature up and down, the run time, defrost or vent location and your heated front seats. For the full cool or full heat, you can't adjust these presets, but it will show you what they are. So if you click into them, it's gonna tell you at the top, Subaru presets cannot be edited. And then you can go in here and see that the temperature on full heat is set up to high. The fan speed is set up to high. Defrost is turned on, heated seats are turned on. If we hop over to full cool and view presets there, we can see everything is the exact opposite. So it's turned down to the lowest temperature, still high fan speed no heated seats obviously and that is just a quick way that Subaru just updated to quickly turn on your full heat or full AC depending on the outside temperature. Just below the remote start options you see that you've got a lock and an unlock function to be able to remotely lock or unlock your car. You have the locate vehicle option whenever you click into that you can actually see where your car is through street view or satellite. So it is actually very nice and can tell you where your car is pretty accurately if you ever lose it in a parking lot. When the car is off, you can actually remotely turn on your horn and lights or just the lights. So we're gonna test that out right now, show you what that looks like. The next option on here is the destinations. So you can actually find local destinations. You can search coffee bars, whatever you may be looking for and add that to a trip and save that to your favorites to sync up with your navigation. There are also a couple other cool features within the My Subaru app that are very helpful with the ownership of your car. So you can actually look at vehicle status on the left and it's gonna tell you if there's any maintenance notifications, anything that's coming up that you might wanna schedule service for. So you can view a vehicle health report. If you click on full report, it's gonna show you. So right now this car doesn't have any maintenance notifications on it. Everything is classified as normal. If you click on any of these drop downs, it tells you what each of these systems are. So if you are having an issue with one of these systems, you'll have a better idea so you can contact your service department and let them know. Under vehicle condition check, you can see things like your odometer, how many miles are on it, how many miles till E, your average fuel economy. This one's got 21.4, so it's probably been driven 
just in the area recently because these definitely get better than 21.4 miles per gallon and then the individual tire pressures now this car hasn't been moved today so the tire pressure sensors are asleep to conserve the batteries in the sensors so it's not actually reading and even if you look on the dash right now it'll show zeros but as we get moving in a few minutes it will actually pop up and it'll populate those tire pressure gauges for you under maintenance reminder you can actually save your retailer and schedule service directly through the app you can also look for open recalls and service campaigns so this one is up to date on all of its service if there was a open recall something that needed to be completed it will tell you here so it's nice that you can have something to rely on other than just getting mail telling you that you have a recall you can actually look in within your app and check the real-time status of your car we're going to go back out here to the other option which is offers and events this is something that's cool because you can look at special offers unique to your local retailer so things that are specific to your local retailer, local events that are going on with that retailer if they're doing a promotion. And you can even look at things like the Subaru Trade Up program, which will allow you to uh, look at what your car's current value is. I know right now used car prices are crazy. So if you have a 2020 or a 21 Subaru, you can see how much you can get for maybe your car trading up into a 2022 model. The last thing that I wanna show you guys on the app is how to set driver alerts. This would be more so if you have a teenage driver, somebody who's just starting out, that you want to make sure that they're not driving recklessly, basically. So the first thing you can do is set boundary alerts. So you can actually set an alert to notify you if somebody drives your vehicle in or outside of a specified area. So you'll see a map show up and you can use that to adjust to increase or decrease the mileage radius that's nice to have if you have somebody borrowing your car and you don't want them to leave the state or the local area in combination with that you can also set speed alerts to notify you if they go above a specific speed and you can set curfew alerts too so if they're supposed to be in at a specific time you don't want them out too late you can set that as well so that about wraps it up for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something new if you did please be sure to click the like button if you like videos like this please be sure to subscribe and if you guys have questions leave them down in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer that for you i hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next one